All right, now we're joined by David Combs, who's uh, here to talk about why we should vote no on Initiative 1491. So why don't you take up to five minutes to tell us why we should vote no. All right, thank you. I'm speaking in opposition to Initiative 1491. Uh, it has uh, some very concerning language in it. Uh, right off the bat, on the ballot, you'll see that uh, it describes uh, people exhibiting mental illness as a criteria for taking firearms away. Um, this is very concerning because it is an illness, not a behavior, and it stigmatizes mental illness as, as something associated with uh, gun violence and violent acts. Um, and this is uh, concerning in that it could be prejudicial and uh, stigmatizing to the mental, Ill, mental health community. Um, some facts about, about not mentally ill people is that they really are not more likely to be violent than the general population. In fact, of all violent kind of crimes committed, only 3 to 5 percent are committed by uh, people with mental illness. And in fact, about, about, um, more than that, people with mental illness are more than 10 times likely to, to be victims of crime than the general population. So, in, in addition, um, Concerned that there are some new laws that have been entered into the uh, state in the last two sessions that uh, duplicate are duplicated and uh, by this initiative, uh, there's a Jones Law which allows uh, family members to uh, petition the court for an involuntary commitment of someone that they feel is unsafe to themselves or others, and with an involuntary commitment, if they are in there for more than 14 days, they are no longer able to access firearms. Um, additionally, uh, there are a number of suicide prevention laws that have been implemented uh, that are very active and have uh, had very good success rates and uh, are continuing to be implemented in the next session. Um, so, uh, in addition, the, this initiative takes guns away, but it does not provide any treatment program or any monitoring or support to the individual, uh, whereas Joe's Law uh, provides uh, actual treatment. Uh, and that is a, a major concern. The other concern is due process. Uh, a person can actually be uh, not present or notified um, via an ex parte um, hearing in which the person is not notified and not aware of the hearing, and a person like a roommate or a girlfriend can actually uh, make a claim that is heard by the judge, and uh, a an court order can be issued uh, immediately. And um, the, uh, the claim uh, can be very simple and uh, doesn't necessarily have to be supported by uh, a great deal of evidence. And what's concerning also is that a, a lower court can issue these uh, ex parte orders. It's not necessarily a superior court judge. And when the hearing actually goes to superior court, there's no public defender or anyone um, that uh, is allowed to defend other than the, the, a, a lawyer hired by the accused or themselves. Um, so the burden of proof is on the defendant. Uh, additionally, one interesting thing is as far as endorsements go, uh, there are endorsements for this initiative, but interestingly, it's who doesn't endorse it. National Alliance for Mental Illness is neutral and has not endorsed it and has expressed concerns about people not getting mental health care because of fear of losing their access to firearms, as well as their concerns about um, being stigmatized. Additionally, at the National at, at Washington State's ACLU is concerned about uh, records being public and also due process. Uh, additionally, uh, Forefront Innovations in Suicide Prevention um, is an organization that has been very active in implementing the laws that uh, I referred to earlier about suicide prevention, and they have been silent. Um, so uh, that is a concern. Additionally, King County Democrats uh, did not endorse the uh, initiative in a vote. Um, other things of concern are that um, confiscation of weapons is uh, a scary thing to think about a police officer uh, being told to confiscate weapons from someone that's considered dangerous and uh, perhaps of harm to self or others. If I were a police officer, I would use uh, a very large uh, amount of force and tactical uh, 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 people um, to, to take uh, the firearms away, and that could create a very dangerous situation. And um, finally, uh, the evidence that mass shootings uh, 
uh, our community profile is uh, very uh, not known. Uh, studies by the National Institute of Health have uh, described it as very difficult to, to understand what profiles a person uh, that has uh, a profile of a mass shooter. So I don't believe this initiative will support uh, solving that issue. Great. So thank you. So now we have um, time for follow-up questions. Uh, I'll start with one of my own. Um, so I, I work in disability law, and I um, actually really agree with you on the short description and that it um, does inappropriately stigmatize. In fact, I would suggest removing the word mental illness from the short description altogether, just uh, preventing firearms access by person exhibiting, persons exhibiting violent or other behavior. And my understanding is that the um, the actual mechanism of getting the protection orders is based on behavior, that there isn't a diagnosis requirement, and there isn't a, um, a requirement for the person um, seeking the protection order to um, produce any medical records. Um, so is, I guess it's a clarifying question, is that your understanding of the substance of the initiative? Is the short description incorrect that exhibiting mental illness um, is a factor in getting the protection order? Actually, in the initiative itself, the language, the first half paragraph actually talks about exhibiting severe mental illness as a, as a again, like you said, it's, it's actually a, not a, a behavior, it's a diagnosis, but it is, is described in the first paragraph. Additionally, in the description where the judge has criteria which they use to, um, to determine whether one is itself uh, harmed to himself or others, uh, there's a list of A through M, and uh, one of those on the list is uh, mental illness. Um, so there is a mixture of behaviors and um, actual um, uh, 